here are seven musty tuna melts in New York City. Let me tell you why. I love a tuna sandwich. I could literally and sort of do eat one every single day. Mercury poison be damned. But when you add that layer of cheese to it and make it a tuna melt, there's almost nothing better. So I went on the hunt in New York City for the best of the best. Simple to fancy, old school to new school, and everything in between. But if there is one I missed, definitely let me know in the comments below. And make sure to sub so you don't miss one bite. Videos coming soon from Toronto, Miami, Philly, and of course my hometown of New York City. Plus, check link in caption for the brand new Let Me Tell You Why newsletter and podcast, digging deeper into all my meals with interviews, restaurant news, and more. And of course, jeremyjshop.com for merch. New Tuna King shirt now available. Let's start with one of the newer ones and definitely the biggest. Meckleburg's is one of my favorite markets in Williamsburg. You can probably find me there at least once a day. And I was psyched to see them add this tuna melt to the menu. Loaded up on this garlic butter toasted brioche is all the tuna salad, melted provolone, gruyere, iceberg, pickles, kewpie, and a heaping of dill garlic potato sticks. The contrast in textures is just like unbelievable. All those crunchy potatoes in there, really like pillowy soft bread. Oh, crunchy the pickles too. And then you're getting like layers of fat, there's of acidity, that garlic flavor, tuna that's not being lost. There's so, much, there's so many things in here that maybe like, oh, butter, cheese, pickles, potatoes, garlic. And if you don't taste the tuna though in the middle of all that, what's the point? Oh, so good. Oh my God, this is, this is like advanced level tuna melt lovers. Golden Diner is the restaurant I would open if I did open up one. Classic diner food with an Asian twist. Oh my God, these pancakes. But the tuna melt is incredible. Tuna, American cheese, vinegar chips, all on a toasted rye bread. The American cheese and tuna almost melds into one, which is so super creamy. And the salt and vinegar chips in the middle add not only crunch, but that great sort of burst of flavor too. Mm, the nice vinegariness is kind of to that fat. New School to Old School s and is a revamped take on a classic luncheonette, sticking very closely to its classic menu. Their tuna melt is simple personified. Just the perfect balance of buttery, crispy rye bread with the most ooey, gooey mix of tuna and American cheese. Even more old school is b &H Dairy, the kosher luncheonette in East Village, serving Jewish staples since 1938. Served on their homemade challah, their tuna melt keeps it simple too, with American cheese. Mm, that is no frills, classic to the point. Super ooey gooey, just American cheese, really buttery soft bread, just a little crisp on the edge, which is nice. And what I appreciate is all the texture coming from that tuna, which has like a ton of celery in it. Classic, simple, to the point, into it. More of a modern day luncheonette. Check out Eat a Sandwich Counter, a place I crave. Their tuna melt comes on a butter and toasted seeded rye with tuna mix of jardinera and both Swiss and Cooper Sharp cheese. Mm -hmm. Tuna melt is all about simplicity. The thing with this is really well is taking those simple things you look for in tuna melt and just like, do, 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 do. just like every little step better. It's all about that texture. Nice creamy tuna, melty gooey gooey cheese, that butter toasted bread, great crunch. I think the mix of the Swiss and the Cooper Sharps are really interesting because you get just like a little bit of that bite of cheese, but so like the gooeyness that the Cooper Sharp gives you. Tuna is absolutely perfect and the bread is great. That just gooey, gooey, crunchy, buttery, perfect bite. Mm. Mm. More Cooper Sharp can be found at Kafar, where their tuna melt comes on a sesame seed Jerusalem bagel with shipka peppers, that Cooper Sharp, and shreddis. Come on, come on. What I really appreciate is with that Cooper Sharp, we're still getting like the gooeyness that I like from American cheese, but a little bit more strong cheese flavor coming through, which is really, really nice. Like it leans more into the cheddar, more of the more than just like the fattiness of it. And listen, I love American cheese. The sauciness and fattiness of it is nice. But a little stronger cheese flavor, always appreciate Extra crunch from the shreddis, I really like. I wouldn't have thought to do that, 
But I do think with like how sort of like gooey the tuna is and gooey the cheese is, having the extra crunch is really, really nice. And obviously the crunch of the bagel, sesame flavor is playing really, really well for everything as well. Mmm. And then right at the end of the bite, you're getting just a little tiny bit of that heat from the peppers. Not overwhelming at all, not the front there. But just like hitting you right there, it's like, ugh. Mmm. Sort of like, like all the little tiny pops they've added into this just make it like that much more different from the house circle. And finally, Augie's counter is a Michelin Bib Kroma recognized Hungarian Jewish diner in Crown Heights. Maybe the fanciest tuna melt on the list? Theirs is a confit tuna melt, which comes on a homemade griddled potato palmi bread with alpine cheddar, loads of dill, and on the side is cabbage slaw and mustard. Mmm, it's like so buttery, a little sweet, still tuna flavor coming in, nice fat from all that cheese, and like a that, like acidic bite just cutting through the whole thing. Oh my god, it's mm, unbelievably good. Mmm, the bread is incredible and like makes that huge difference. Mm. Had to get one sweet treat too and tried their chocolate chip rye caraway cookie. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're a sub so you don't miss any of my food adventures. And here are a few other videos I think you'd love.